You ever wonder what your takeout orders say about the economy? Turns out your breakfast, lunch, and dinner choices reveal surprising trends about where Americans are eating, working, and living. And this morning, the chief analytics officer at DoorDash is joining us live to kind of break down what these numbers say about small businesses, family moves, and even downtown revival. So I guess to really kick things off, Jess, what do your DoorDash numbers reveal about Phoenix's local economy? The State of Local Commerce report is DoorDash's first comprehensive look at local economic activity across the U.S. using hundreds of millions of real-world transactions from the DoorDash platform. And it captures how people in cities like Phoenix are actually spending, where businesses are opening and closing, how work is changing, and how communities are evolving. And we created new indicators like our cheeseburger index that translate complex price data into fun and relatable everyday measures of affordability. And it's great to see that Phoenix ranked highly on our cheeseburger index, highlighting that families can still get an affordable meal in the city. So to be honest, when you see all these prices going up at the grocery store, I've even leaned in more to DoorDash or things like that. Are you guys seeing that as well? Are you hearing that from customers? I think you know there's there's strong demand, which is great. Uh, we offer a variety of uh, options from restaurants to grocery and even retail, and we're seeing that consumers are choosing to spend where they feel like they get the most value, mm -hmm. uh, whether that's for, for pricing or even convenience. Let's talk about hybrid work and back to office shifts. Does that show up in your data at all? Are you guys seeing a reflection of that? One of the most interesting points we looked at was the rate of change for weekday lunch orders mm -hmm. going to commercial addresses as compared to residential addresses. And what we're seeing is that downtown business orders are up 2.5% year on year nationally. Uh, Phoenix was actually one of the top five cities with over 12% growth year on year, which is nearly six times the national average, indicating a downtown recovery. It's a really interesting time with how expensive things are. So how are local restaurants staying strong despite the economic challenges that we're all facing? You know, it's a testament to the hard work of business owners across Phoenix and across the U.S. to keep their doors open. We created the restaurant resilience rate, which measures the share of restaurants that remain open year on year. And despite the economic eb ebbs and flows, in Phoenix, more than 93% of local restaurants on the DoorDash platform in September 2024 remained open a year later, and that is above the national average. Something I thought was also really interesting from the research that you guys just put out, how do kids' meal trends show where families are moving and why does that matter? We have really interesting data on where people are ordering kids meals. And we're seeing that the families are moving to more affordable areas um, in order to be able to, to raise their families and, and live the life that, that live the life that they want to live. And we see that Phoenix is right at the US average with, with a share of restaurant orders containing kids meals of 3.7%. And are there places where affordability and growth are just booming? I think for every city, there are things that are really strong and there are areas that are less strong. It's really just like the local economies themselves. It's a really complex, um, you know, it's, it's a really complex thing. And so it's not just about one data point showing that something's great or showing that something is, is not doing as great. It's, it's really the, the summation of all of those data points which make up the local economies. Jess, thank you so much. Live for us from DoorDash. We really appreciate getting that perspective.